I started my nurse training in November 1977 and I trained at Walton and Fazakley Hospital. When I was little, there was a house by where we lived that had a big brass plaque outside the door and I was so small I couldn't read and I asked my mum what did it say and she said it was a, a midwife and so I actually wanted to be a midwife because I thought the brass plaque was um, a really special thing to have outside your front door. After I qualified um, I worked for the first 15 years of my career as um, a nurse in accident and emergency so it was a very fast pace and I'm sure accident and emergency is very different now than it was then, but it was a wonderful team, really lovely team that I worked with at, um, at Walton Hospital A&E department. You needed to know something about every speciality because everything came through the department in those days. It's a little bit different now things. There's other services like walk-in centres and um, drop-in facilities, which we didn't have back then. And as a young nurse, it was, it was very exciting, you know, you ran on adrenaline all the time because, you, as you say, you just didn't know what was, what was going to be coming next. We used to get a lot of patients either who would come in very, very ill after maybe a heart attack and can't have a cardiac arrest in the department and we had an emergency team that um, would sort of go into action and that is a wonderful feeling to actually do um, CPR on somebody and they they have a successful resuscitation. Oh, it's hard to put into words really. It was um, just a fantastic feeling to know that you've made a difference to somebody's life, you've actually saved their life. A medical team from our department used to um, go to the race, races um, for the three day event and provide cover for the jockeys and any jockey that had a fall would come into the department and a lot of them were Irish and there was always a good fun. Um, but, you know, we used to have a good laugh with them even though they maybe broken a collarbone or something. They could always um, tell us a story and give us a, a, the odd tip. Um, we used to get complimentary tickets for the races um, from the race course and they would be raffled amongst the staff in the department. Um, one year I was lucky enough to win the raffle and got the complimentary tickets which included a lunch. Um, and we got to go into the winner's enclosure. So that was very exciting. Um, another big event, obviously that was every year, but there was a very big event when Michael Jackson um, did the concert at Aintree Race Course. I forget what year it was now. I think it might have been about 1988, something like that. Um, Marvellous event, but we had to be on big high alert because there was 150,000 people so many there. It's a wonderful life. Hard work, very rewarding, with so many options to do different things. Um, you don't have to stay doing the one job for the rest of your life because there's so many branches of nursing that we can go into. I wasn't actually a qualified nurse and I was left on nights on a 26 bed Nightingale ward with an auxiliary and it was quite scary but we didn't know any different and, and everybody was doing the same things. We had one um, matron, a night matron who would, would go between a number of wards to just check that everything was going to plan but I have to say unbelievably we we did really well and we I, I don't ever remember any disasters mm -hmm. uh, fortunately um, but it was quite challenging you, you know you literally did not stop from the minute you went on duty until the day staff came in you did not stop you had some quite sick patients but um, somehow no idea now when I think about it but somehow we managed to get around that and we always managed to have everything done by the time the day staff came in we'd hand over the report and then we'd go off exhausted and come back the next night to do the same thing again. It's got to be the the, the contact with the clients the one-to-one -one relationship that you build up with with young mums I had wanted to be a nurse from when I was five years old apparently and I've enjoyed 
every moment of it and I would recommend it to anybody. It's been a fantastic career and it's a career which I intend to stay in as long as I possibly can. I watched my poor nanny um, dying of cancer and I saw how kind the nurses were to her in Brutal Hospital and I just thought they did such a fantastic job and I thought I want to be like them and that was the reason for me doing my nursing. In them days it was a little bit of a workhouse, it was very old, there was no computer or IT systems, we didn't have sterilisers, it was all very, very basic stuff, very basic nurse and um, you worked very hard but there was just such a lovely buzz around the hospital, the atmosphere was always good, people loved working in a team, communication and I felt it was the best place to ever learn to be a good nurse because it was on the job nurse and um, literally just going from every bed doing total nursing care and I just thought this is the job for me and my nurse and student years were the best years ever. I made lots of friends and I'm still friends with a lot of the girls. We meet up 43 years later. We will still see each other at Christmas and special occasions mm -hmm. and they were the happiest days for me working in that hospital. Um, our time was with the patients, not at computers. We just spent all our time by the patient's side and for, for me that just made my job so satisfying. People love Liverpool, it's a vibrant city and when they come they don't want to leave. So we get a lot of people who've come to Liverpool and they haven't got extended family here. So I feel as health is to have a really important role to help those mums and um, to give them support and advice and to get them linked in with other groups in the area and it's very rewarding. All my nieces, I've got four nieces and they've all followed me into nursing oh, really? yes. and my son has become a doctor so oh. I'm very proud, yeah. So I like to think they've all got that from me too. Yeah.